This project is about developing a battery management system for microgrid with machine learning algorithm based SOC detection. Our supervisor is Professor KT M. U. Himapala. We can define a microgrid as decentralized power generation located near the end user points. A battery management system is necessary in a battery bank to integrate the battery with the rest of the power system. For the better operation of the battery management system, the accurate estimation of the SOC is one of the main tasks. Objective of the project is design an automated battery management system model for a microgrid. This block diagram shows the proposed model for SOC estimation. It gets battery terminal voltage, battery current and temperature, as inputs and outputs the SOC level. The SOC output is obtained using two different methods. One is Coulomb counting method and other one is trained machine learning model. The SOC output is the one of input for the battery management system model. Other than that, it gets grid availability status, demand of the microgrid and the internal generation. This is the developed algorithm to identify whether battery should be charged or discharged. Here decisions are taken by considering the inputs I mentioned before. According to the algorithm, battery will be charged only when the excess power generation occurs in microgrid. If the battery is not sufficient and generation is lower, then only grid power is consumed. So the system consumes lesser amount of grid power. In the simulation model of the BMS, it consists of battery mode identification system and a protection block. Generation, load and SOC are the inputs for the battery management, battery mode identification system and it outputs the converter power which is used to operate the bidirectional converter at a desired duty ratio. Other than that, DC bus voltage and the terminal voltage also input to the converter. Protection block is the one of main part in the battery management system model. It generates a trigger signal when there is any abnormal condition of operation such as over, over or under voltage, over current, over temperature, etc. And this battery status block is implemented in the purpose of indicating the battery conditions in the user interface is in operation. Here we vary the load and generation and also the grid availability status time to time. So we can see that while charging and discharging, battery is, battery is isolated when overcurrent situation takes place. This is our overall project. Thank you.